the Red Mills Irish Champion Stakes is next. This is our 10 furlongs. It's a Group 1. Uh, Leopardstown. Uh, we had a big feel for this. We all seem to get big feel for these 10 furlong Group 1s. And at the top, Arabian Night, the surprise winner of the Judmont last week for Padre Hogan. Cuban Mananan, David Robertson, Yelan Vermeer, Leon Van Rensburg, Asaka, Play, Vinnie Gerard, Relco, Craig Beckwith, The Great Gatsby, Dan Hughes, Thunder Thor, Craig Allen, Vidono, Darren Thompson, World Class, David Hooley, Angelica Rouge, Padre Hogan, Awaken at Dawn, Craig Allen, Desperado, Leon Van Rensburg, Drayden Van Dyke, Paul Rhodes, Hookham, Dan Hughes, Special Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Star of Surprendra for Paul Rhodes, and finally Leafard Looks for David Robertson. So a big field of 17 then. And all installed and ready to go. Away they go. Well, it's a reasonably level break. The grey gay gra the grey the grey Gatsby was a little bit slow out, but nothing too serious. And Thunder Thor has thundered on into the lead. So Thunder Thor then has gone across to the fence in front, but immediately joined by Desperado, and that one's gone on. Star Sapendra also wants to be up in the lead, and that one has gone through the challenge. Cuban Man and his third. Liffard locks the greys in fourth. Thunder Thor's now dropped back to fifth, and the jockey's taking a tug on it to pull it back even further. Relco and Verdono are close up, so too special. Special tonic into the back of Sarka play. The grey is now at the back, but it's Desperado. It's about two lengths clear. Already past the seven furlong pole. Star of Surprender is in second. Then comes Special Tonic. And then Liffard looks. Cuban Manadan, Relco and Verdono. Hookham is well placed as well. Then comes Johan Vermeer trying to get going. Greg Gatsby has made up for that slow start. Angelica Rouge is next. Drayden Van Dyke is closer than normal at this point. Awaken at Dawn is after that one. And then World Class Arabian Knight's going to try and come through a lot of them again like he did last week. And Asaka play is last of all. But it's Desperado. Desperado, who's three lengths clear in front from Cuban Mananan in second, who's now being driven up to join the leader. It's Desperado and Cuban Mananan. Relco is now moving nicely up into second on the inside of that one. Star of Surprender is next. Then Verdono, Joanne Vermeer. Then comes Thunderthor. Liffard looks awakened at Dawn. Hookham trying to get going as well. They're swinging towards home now. And then Desperado is in front still by two. They're queuing up behind Cuban Manor. And Johan Vermeer now coming through. The challenge is stable, mate. Hookham is coming through with a big looking run as well. But it's Desperado in front. Desperado, Johan Vermeer inside the final two. Desperado desperately sticking on on the inside. Relco is now coming out to challenge. Johan Vermeer is next then Thunder Thor and Hookham they're all in a line these now it's Relco on the inside running a big race inside the final furlong but now Hookham's gone to the front it's Hookham and Thunder Thor has now come back through again and so too Johan Vermeer Thunder Thor and Johan Vermeer on a head bobber and a very fast finishing Cuban Mananan on the outside Cuban Mananan's got up to take it I think Cuban Mananan and David Robertson he's having a great season and I think he's just got up on the line to take that Thunder Thor, Johan Vermeer, and Asaka play the grey game from nowhere as well. And Cuban Manan takes it for David Robertson. Thunder Thor for Craig Allen second, Johan Vermeer, Leon van Rensburg third, Asaka play, Vinnie Gerard fourth, and world class for David Hooley was fifth.